let's look at dihybrid cross dihybrid cross we explain the meaning of dihybrid which means that you involve two characteristics which are supposed to be inherited at the same time for example you have the height of an individual who is tall and then another one is short so it means that that is one character which is height another character which is skin color it could be light skin or dark skin so the two characters if are, are inherited to the next generation at the same time the cross which involves those two characters we call it die hybrid i explained and give example of this in the previous lesson those who missed the lesson you can go to our youtube channel or you can join us on whatsapp and then you can inquire any equation you would like to know about the hybrid cross uh, the hybrid cross as i say that it involves two characteristics and i've given an example but you need to know what you call the Mendel's law of independent assortment we say that uh, alleles of a gene for one characteristic segregate independently of the allele of a gene for another characteristic so uh, during um, inheritance the allele of um, or the allele of one character for example for uh, height it should not influence the allele of another character for example uh, uh, skin color these two must separate independently during uh, the formation of gamete and in an individual so when meiosis takes place it must split each character independently without affecting the other character the allele of tolerance must not influence the allele of skin color provided that these alleles they are found on different chromosomes so this law applies when these alleles are uh, located on different chromosomes Let's look at uh, an example uh, which is involved in a dihybrid cross. In Himsda, allele for black coat color, that is capital B, it means that you need to know that uh, capital B or black color is dominant over uh, the white color. So it's dominant over the white color. That's why the white color is indicated as small b. And then the allele for roughness, capital R, it means that is dominant, is dominant over allele for smoothness. So it means that uh, rough is dominant over smooth. So you need to also know uh, this, that we have talked about black, white, rough, and uh, smooth. These are not four characters. These are two characters. Remember, we said that a gene is having alternative forms. It can uh, exist. So these are alternative forms, which you call the alleles. These are alternative forms. So the uh, the gene for this is the skin color, which has the black and the white, and then the texture, which has the texture is the gene or a character, which has the roughness and smoothness. So in this question, they're asking you if you cross the hemister that is heterozygous black and homozygous white. Sorry, heterozygous black and homozygous rough. So this is one individual. Homozygous, heterozygous black and homozygous rough with another uh, individual which is heterozygous black with heterozygous rough now someone can ask why are they not talking about smooth yes smooth in this case we don't have heterozygous smooth because smooth is uh, a recessive it can only exist when there is no dominant allele so once the dominant allele capital letter is there then automatically uh, it will change the meaning no longer smooth then it will become rough so in this case they want us to cross the two of them so let's look at uh, a small picture here. Say that you need to start with uh, the 
current and the phenotype and the ferial generation. In this case, because this is not the first cross, then it means that if it's the second cross, we have write P2. P means? P means parent. Therefore, uh, if you have the phenotype of the parent, remember, you get the phenotype from the question. It's always there. So, parent phenotype is black, uh, and then you cross it with a rough, no, no, black, and rough crossed it with black and rough yes so they say that here but the black here they say that if instead of heterozygous so this is heterozygous in that case we'll write capital B small b capital B small b yes uh, because he is heterozygous and then they're saying that and homozygous rough it means that it's supposed to be have capital letters capital R capital R and then we are saying that we cross it to heterozygous black which is supposed to be uh, capital B small b and then also heterozygous rough which is capital R small r so uh, this is not a cross yet but how do you know that this is uh, have a simple formula which you can use which you call uh, foil foil can help you in identifying uh, which gamete is coming and which is not coming so that because students always mix this but let's look at our method which we can use to identify the gametes which are formed the method is called the foil method foil method tries to describe this f means fast outer inside last first outer inside and then last how does it apply i'll say this and this that is the first this and this i get it here and then i'll say now that's the first i write b and capital r b and capital r then i go to the outer i'm getting I'm getting B and R, B, capital B, capital R. Now I'm going to the to go to the inside. I start with this, and then I go with that. I become, I get B, cap, small B and capital R. Then I go to the last. I start with again this, and then I go to the last. Then I get what we call cap, uh, small B, small B, and then capital R. So I'll be able to get that. Even here, it's the same story. I'll get first this with that. I get that. I'll say this. Now I'm going to the inside this with that. And then lastly, that with that. So you'll be able to know to see that. So I write those here. You, the one you go with, make sure that you fold this. Don't skip anything here. Once you skip anything, you will be you won't be able to get it right. Uh, then uh, once you form the gametes, these gametes are needed to be in the pinnate square. They are needed to be in the pinnate square. Let's look at the pinnate square. So I've brought these gametes here. I bring these gametes here. Yes, I bring them here, and then I put them here. And then I bring these ones here. So you can reverse. You can put uh, these ones. You put them here. And then you put these ones. Then it doesn't matter. As long as you get the correct answer. How do you call this? We call this fertilization. And we call this one gametes. Remember I told you gametes are six. Uh, six cells. So now let's start crossing. B. This where it means you're right if you start with b start with b if you start with r start with r if it's monohybrid you start with a, a capital letter but in this case if of is of the same character then you start with the letter you started with so for example b with b so i'm gonna have here capital b capital b capital r capital r and then here i'm gonna have capital b capital b mm -hmm capital R and then small r because capital B capital B yes and then capital R small r yes and then here what happened I started
started with B, we have K, capital B, now small b, yes, and then capital R, capital R, capital R, capital R, and then here I have capital B, yes, capital B, small b, no, 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 small b, yes, and then I have capital R, capital R, small r, capital R, small r, yes. So now, um, then you can do this for me, as I'm also doing this for you. Then, let's look at this one, as we said. Now, I started with a capital letter, I, sorry, with B. So now, this B and this B are of the same character. So I begin with a capital letter, small b, capital B, because B is the same character. So then I go to... So now, if you start checking out, uh, you'll find out that uh, you'll find out that this is whenever you see capital B is 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 black, and then whenever I see capital R is rough. So I have one, two. I'm looking for black, black, and I'm looking for black and rough. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Those are twelve. All of them are black and rough. And then if you look at um, one, two, three, small b, two small b, and at least one capital R. It's going to be black, and it's going to be white and rough. So I have three. So I have. 12 plus 3 that is 15 I need to have 16 and what will be the phenotype and the genotype of the offspring so we have seen that we have uh, 12 rough and then we have 3 white 3 north, 1 white and smooth and smooth if you add them and they don't total up to 16 it means that your answer is wrong um then lastly is uh, uh how do we how do we find out the genotypes so the genotype uh, genotypes is F2 offsprings of F2 of springs. We just have to list them, list these ones down. Yeah, uh, basically that's it. Uh, we will see some questions. If you really have a question, uh, please forward it to our subgroup to 7848. Three three one seven three eight. Yes. So that is uh, for Thunder Morris. Thank you very much. We'll come back for another. Class. Color in gene, you you find it that it has two forms. It can be, uh, for example, if the gene they are talking about.